So now, um, every so often, you meet a magic person, and that's really that is how I felt when I met Paul. I'm sitting in the railway station, got a ticket for my destination. We have the secret handshake of like shared sensibility. You know what I mean? I mean, we understood each other perfectly. You know, Paul and I, we we were actually together over 12 years. Well, off and on. And so, you know, we traveled a lot together, and he did his Simon and Garfunkling and stuff. And、um, Paul, he wrote an album based on South American music, and that album was called "The Rhythm of the Saints." And on it was the last song that Paul ever wrote about me. Now, if you can get Paul to write a song about you, do it. <laughs> Because he is so so good at it, but、um, the song was called "She Moves On," ironic title, and、uh, so there's this lyric in it that I wanted to share with you because I'm feeling kind of a closeness now, you know. And that lyric is, "I'm afraid that I'll be taken, abandoned, and forsaken in her cold." Coffee eyes. Yeah, I'm a bitch. <laughs> no, but no. He he did, he wrote another song about me, and、um, this one was called Allergies. And the lyric in that was, "My heart is allergic to the woman I love." And it's changing the shape of my face. Is that flattering? <laughs> no, I don't think it is either. But, but my, well, though my favorite album of his though is this album that's、uh, called、um, Hearts and Bones, and the title song. Well, actually, it, it sounds a lot like this, but. This couldn't be it because we didn't get permission to use it. <laughs> so that that would be bad, wouldn't it? Oh, it would not be bad because you know I never took any alimony from Paul. So think of it this way: you're listening to my alimony, <laughs> and lovely alimony it is. Oh, we got permission. Anyway, the lyric is one and one half wandering Jews. One and one half wandering Jews. I'm the half from Eddie. Return to the natural course. West is my natural course. To resume old acquaintances and step out occasionally. Speculate who had been damaged the most. Who had been damaged the most? Guess who won that contest? <laughs> Now I married Paul.、Um, When I was 26, and、um, we got divorced when I was 28, and at 29, I went into rehab. Now, obviously not because I needed it, but because, well, I was doing research for my novel, Postcards from the Edge. I wrote、um, Postcards from the Edge, the book, the novel, when I was like. 28 or 29 in Los Angeles. Then I got back together with Paul again, so I wrote the screenplay of、uh, Postcards in New York. Then they start filming the movie in L.A. with Meryl Streep and Shirley MacLaine. I want to be on that set, right? So I start traveling out to L.A. from New York a lot, and this was really bad for my relationship with Paul. I mean, things were getting worse faster than we could lower our standards. <laughs> I, uh, uh, pretty soon, we did know that it was over.、Uh, Mike Nichols actually used to say about us that we were two flowers, no gardener. <laughs> no one was minding the relationship. So one of the last times, I was flying back out to LA again, right? And so. Paul and I have been fighting all morning. He drives me to the airport to get rid of me faster, and I'm about to get on the plane. Right, so I turn to him and I say, 
you'll feel bad if I crash. And he said, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> so, Paul and I went our respective ways. And he went on to marry someone younger than himself, Edie Brickell from the South. So, not to be outdone, I married someone younger than myself, Brian Lord, also from the South. Now, the difference between our choices. My choice forgot to tell me that he was gay. 